Garage. We are here at Fat Fender Garage and we have a really special truck along with a really special customer of ours. This is Steve Horn and this is his magnificent truck that he's been building. This style has kind of started with him just decades ago. He came to us and he, he brought this idea and it was a little different than what we've done. Like we've never just done something like this ever. And it's actually was a little more challenging than we thought it would be. But Steve came to us, we talked about it. He had some ideas. I kind of got a little excited about it. Thought, all right, I'm, I'm interested. But Steve, you really challenged us here, but you kind of were the visionary of what it was you were wanting. Uh, this model truck particularly fits this big one. It was my high school truck. That said, as it went on to high school, became an iron worker for 22 years, okay. and went on to school to become a chiropractor. Owned these trucks all along. I've been building Harley Davidson's for about 45 years. Okay. I've been custom building Harleys for about 25 years now. How we came up with the look of this truck, all my bikes typically, it's not that I don't like paint, I'm just mm -hmm. not a big fan of paint. Mm -hmm. The reason is I build these bikes to ride, and the more you ride them, when you use the alloys, such mm -hmm. as aluminum, stainless, right. bronze, ferrous metals coated in um it's like a, pati a patina, like a absolutely. Uh, aged... The more you ride them, the better they look. They wipe down beautiful, and you're not afraid to ride them because you get one little nick, and then you're worried about how you're going to fix that nick right, right, in right. the truck. That's the whole premise behind this. And you build bikes that have been in magazines and all kinds yeah, of stuff. Yeah, right? it featured six times or five times in Easy Rider magazine. The last one, Cycle Source. So you know what you're talking about you know what you're doing we weren't going to pull any wool over you on this it really was a, an interesting concept now that it's done and we look at it i'm surprised well going how much going, i really going like this. into this we both knew it was a challenge but i assured you i understood the challenge because you had made the comment to me that steve we may not be the shop for you because you were critiquing my bikes and you really liked what you saw right right and now i want to make sure you know you were exactly the shop well i i really and appreciate and I, the I boys really need appreciate. to know that, and everybody in this shop that's had their hands on this needs to know that. This has been really stressful for me because your skills are here and you know you're gonna have to advance them a little bit in areas because no one finishes metal to this degree. No one does. They get it close and then they put a skim coat of mud on it and they're good. And so then you're like, well, we, we're not doing that. We have to have original 1956 metal look good. And yet we knew it would never be perfect. This truck is perfectly flawed. Perfectly flawed. There's a story in areas of this truck where maybe there's deep scratches or things that we we just could not remove. We just had to leave them in there. And so they're there and we don't know the story. We don't know what happened to it. It's, it's a decades old story that's in there. Sure. But it also allows it to have a character to it that if it had gotten too perfect, it would almost feel this like- This truck isn't pretty. It's, it's beautiful, but it's tough looking. It, it's just not a pretty truck. Well, That'd there's be. gonna be people that see this and go, this is beautiful and stunning. And out in the sun, it's very bright. It's reflective it because of the metal. Color, it's saw. really cool. I've learned to appreciate this more as a piece of art more than anything because this is so unique right so it's it's very One, different yeah, and another feature about that I, I think i educated you a little bit is the use of nickel plating yeah yeah opposed to chrome yes now nickel it was been around for several several decades chrome mm -hmm. has been around since the mid 30s chrome to nickel is what clear coat is to paint in mm -hmm. essence but the deepness the yellowness of the nickel gives it a, re I do, a real rich i do like the gold look. undertones there and it provided a nice contrast mm -hmm. now i know you're probably going to do some brushing and play around with no, it which no, is no. i mean I'm... which is your thing right it's right. your truck you'll get to play around with it you might wait a while who knows right might not do anything, Jason. But let's, we want to show you some of the details on the truck. So a lot of this stuff is really pretty cool. Very original. We got these Detroit steel wheels right here that were purchased. Very, very basic wheels. Very basic, some center caps that are going on there that were nickel finished, right? But let's start, let's start underneath the hood, right? Like Please. let's, let's start here because this is, I mean, you know, this is what makes them kind of cool. Uh, and then as you saw, you know pops up comes up that's very common of a 1956 you know you do the little exactly dance exactly what it is they pop up so all original you brought a gen 2 coyote motor and so we put that in and then we put these aluminum valve covers on it then of course we got the borla stacker and which is not an easy feat you know getting the borla stacker all those the throttle bodies all linkage working and in sync and also then getting it tuned you know it sucks in a lot of air Yep. So, it, you know, it takes a little bit. Luckily, we found someone who was really good, worked with us remotely and let us tune this here. We tuned it without any doors on it, with just a seat in it. Just
just so we could make sure that this is going. We we hope to have a couple hundred miles on this before we go to SEMA, right? Good. So it's feeling pretty confident. That motor was inspired by a good friend of mine, John Nolan. He put this exact motor in a 66 Mustang of okay. his fastback. Okay. And I said, I want that motor for that truck. So he bought me one, bought it from him, and the Borla injection, I wanted it exactly like his. And we have it. And he yeah. said it was a trick to tune, but you had to incorporate different uh, modules and what have you to, to mm -hmm. make this happen. Yeah, and so with the Borla, we're using the Holly fuel monitoring system, which is kind of tough because not everybody knows how to tune Holly. So you have to find, you know, the right tuners that are exceptionally good at that. Right. And so we found a guy that was really good. Honestly, the best experience I have ever had with Holly was with this guy. He was really good. And that kind of helped me with my relationship using Holly because if you don't have a good tuner, it can just make everything poorly difficult. And so he, he was super awesome. We put an all aluminum radiator, wizard radiator. And of course, you know, we've got our power steering kit, which we got our, uh, a a different because they usually come plastic but again uh -huh. we had to go all aluminum right and then if you take a look at all these lines that were here rather than putting a rubber hose right we converted all those coolant lines over to aluminum and then we've got you know billet parts in there that uh, made adapters that would allow us to connect it we even created a really cool billet wiring pass-through that yes. matched identical to the coolant. Jeremy kept me informed with all this as you're going, by the way, great guy, you're lucky to have him. Great, great guy. Yeah, he's, he's been really good. So, of course, the foundation on this all started with a Porterbilt chassis. Correct. And with Porterbilt chassis, his welds are about as good as they get. They're oh, yeah. super nice. And of course, we got the Willwood brakes on here all set up everything good and we did 12 inch rotors front and back and the reason why is because you can't see anything and frankly uh 12 inch wheelwood's going to stop this just fine when we're going with larger spoke things you know uh, wheels where you can see through it it looks a little cooler do 14 inch uh, but this worked out perfect to have and it's going to stop just fine it's going to stop perfectly yeah perfectly and we uh, use the ring brothers hood hinges mm -hmm. uh, so pretty nice uh, using their product as well you know, we've got a really cool wood bed. Now, this happens to me. I don't remember the wood, but it's a walnut. Yes. So this is a walnut wood, and but it's, it's not perfect. your typical black walnut. This is a little bit more of an exotic walnut because I was looking for this color. And so this is just a natural finish on it. There's nothing else. It's just a clear, yeah, it's beautiful. This is, this is a natural you, finish. You, you nailed that. But I wanted something that felt really organic, mm -hmm. but also where the grain was a little bit straighter and typical black walnut doesn't look like this. And so we've got a bed strip we've missed. You know, we you you know you need six. Of course. And then they order five. Oops. Oops, Jeremy. Hey, you got um, a couple of weeks left. But I'll hey, order. don't stress don't over Don't stress, it. right? It's all good. Uh, but then we, you know, you 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 wanted a little silica bronze right here, right? It's, to, just, it's just a highlight. It yeah. gives it a little bit of a steampunk vibe because it's, but yeah. not close to that, but you get my point. And that just looks so much better TIG because it's more forgiving, but it yeah. looks stunning. And when you raise this lid, you have those accents. Yeah, the bed, well. the bed opens and up. And it's a little more ductile than a, than a regular well. Yeah, yeah. So this bed does open up and it looks pretty cool. Rather than just a, a solid filler panel, we put these copper rivets in there. Got out of the box a little bit. Looks wonderful. Yeah. It something just, I'd do. Yeah, it's kind of, you know, <laughs> something a little different. We battled a little bit. You were thinking louvers. And no, you were thinking louvers. I was thinking. Oh, hole. that's right. But it, 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 would, it wouldn't have worked. Yeah. It, it would have defeated the purpose unless you double plated that with the hot rod holes mm -hmm. and then sandwiched the screen in between it. Right, right. Then that would have worked. But yeah. you know what? This is this is great. Yeah, nothing gets Every, in there. No, yeah. Nothing gets in there. It, by the way, I saw the tailgate. It's perfect. Yeah. There's a pain in the ass. I'm not going to lie. Taking the that whole thing's a pain in the ass. We get that. A lot of the little features, of course, we've got Dakota Digital, or no, I'm sorry, we've got Classic Industries gauges. And uh, we put those in here because we were looking for that vintage look, right? right. So, and the Dakota was a little bit um, more modern. I have so. that same dash panel in my daily driver right mm -hmm. now, and it works beautifully. Yeah, but in this particular instance, it made sense it does. to go with that. You know, getting you guys, back to this, this, you is the out. this is all the original molding. So How from 1950, it looks awesome. It's all been straightened, everything's nice and clear. Then we got, uh, this steering wheel that came from Spark Industries, kind of the hot rod look, old school hot rod. Hats off to Charlie, he picked that out for yep, me. Yeah, Charlie helped pick that out. And then of course we had- Hey Charlie. Hey Charlie. Yeah. And then we had Adrian with steering wheel art, a leather wrap that in the same dark leather that's gonna be encompassing a lot of the interior. So. It's beautiful. I'm so pleased with what I see. That balance was such an upgrade, not being negative about the molded one you had. But. Yeah, well we were gonna do the fiberglass one and then wrap it in leather. 
but that's much classier, much better, this, cleaner. Yeah, and really turned out nice. So nice that we ended up deciding just to reproduce those for other people that wanted it. So it turned out pretty good. Yes. And of course, we got Restomod air conditioning with the tiny little vents here. Turned out super awesome. We're very pleased with it. All the leather we got is from uh, Apex Leather. Mm -hmm. And so um, we should get the final piece of it. They're CNC stitching. Um, some of the inserts that we're doing, and so we should have all of that stuff. Uh, I'm hoping today, kind tomorrow. Kind of like you want it, or exactly like you want it? Exactly <laughs> the way we want it, yes. <laughs> they had a couple options, and, and they were kind enough to modify their design to match the way we wanted it sure. done. So I'm super picky. Sometimes the diamonds aren't diamond enough. They can look a little like a square, slightly altered. It took an extra couple right. days in programming for them to do that, but it's super good. The gas tank um, is a Boyd welding gas tank. And then we got a vapor trapper to help with exhaust because fumes. Yeah, to access the gas tank. Yeah, let's see. I don't know how to do it. I think it's we one got- one of these under here. We got, uh, we turn on. There it is. That's it. That's it. All right, there it is. Yeah, they got it. Let's check it out. I wasn't sure if we had to add the key on or not. Yeah, how beautiful is that? That's now, exactly that what we talked about. We not just did the body in clear coat. We yes. the whole, and I told you the whole chassis, I want the weld burn marks, I want the bluing. Do not, under any circumstances, please sandblast the frame. Yeah. I want their work, quarter built, I wanted their weld shown off. I wanted the craftsmanship of this truck to emulate what we did. Well, and it was you guys tough nailed because it. you had to clean it with acetone, really get it super clean so the Cerakote... Even the ball joints. Yes. What do you mean the ball joints yeah, are black? The ball joints, yeah. And we even took the paint out because there's virtually no paint on this truck the, the, coatings you're, whatsoever. You're right. Other it's, than clear. It's, it's super clean and turned out really good. When you put good. this on a rack, it's going to be oh, every beautiful. Flawless. And that's another thing I want to say. When I build a custom motorcycle, I never build anything with the attitude, you'll never see this. Hey, check this out right here. So this is a vapor trapper canister. Mm -hmm. And so all the fumes that vent out go through that charcoal canister. Oh, so cool. when you have this in your garage, there, you know how you get that gas yeah. smell, right? You won't have that gas smell. Good, excellent. Right? So that we just kind of tucked that up there, our Boyd welding tank, we brushed it. This is a, a nice cool billet piece all out of aluminum. It's beautiful. Um, so, you and know, functional. And functional. That's that the thing. It, it looks cool. so good, but it's so functional. Yeah, it's a little dirty. We'll wipe it down before we go to SEMA. Uh, you know, but we haven't had a chance to like clean oh, it. No, I get it. I but get it's it's, it's a little, still in it's, the shop. I yeah, get it. it's still in the shop. So we've we've taken and uh, rather than the big black rubber, you know, we've gone in and uh, leather wrapped the chains. Uh, you know, just very nice detail. Yeah, detail. We've got some other details that we still got to, you know, finish up on this. We're getting very close. We've got our uh, low car shifter right here. So it's an automatic and it allows us to go into sport mode. So if you wanted to shift it kind of manually first and second and kind of go through the gears. Kind of like paddles. Yeah, kind yeah. of like paddles. But yeah, you got it in the shifter and it's a real popular one for, you know, these 6R80s and stuff. They work yeah. really well. So kept pretty plain on the inside. Well, the like, whole focus was no, no body mods. No that body was mods. The key. No body mods. Everybody, very, they very radius simple. these. I, mean, yep. I just want to keep it so stock looking. What would you do different? One thing, I would probably left these these stake pockets undone. Okay, yeah. Other than that, and another thing too. In, in at my age, my currency is time. Could I have done this? Maybe. Do I do things like this? Yes. But how long would it have took me? So yeah. it was worth it to me to have you guys. Take on the job, do it. I'm so pleased. I some, got some other projects we'll be talking about in the awesome. future. I'm just really pleased. I have no doubt I picked the right shop and I will be in this truck. We have two doors that they're just finishing up. That's why they're not on it. Right. Uh, they're, they're getting that, make sure it's perfect. We'll get those on it. Uh, we're gonna start next week. We're gonna get the carpet in, headliner, get all that stuff done and get the seat all done. So I'm hoping by the end of next week, we're 100% done. Beautiful. Actually, uh, you're test actually driving. kind of ahead of the game. Kind a of ahead. Bit. A little bit. Given the, the crunch time. For, Given the crunch sturdy. time, we yeah. Um, last year at this time, we were um, starting assembly on a truck, and it was very painful. But we're, we're ahead of the game, and, and uh, we're excited. You're coming to SEMA? Oh, absolutely. Okay, so this is going to be at SEMA, and this is going to be in the Cerakote booth in the Central Hall. 
very cool truck, a very cool customer. Uh, we're very Thank proud you. of it. Uh, we're excited that we got to work with Steve on it. He's been super awesome to work with, good communicator, and we've had such a good time working with him. And so we're excited to take it to SEMA, excited that it's in the Cerakote booth, Prismatic Cerakote, look for it, and you'll be there. You Absolutely. got some friends got coming. friends and family members. Thanks. The missus is coming. We're all very excited. Nobody will be disappointed. Yeah. Whether family members, friends, or the general public. If they do, they got to lift themselves in the mirror. Steve, thank you. Yes, sir, We're my friend. We're excited, man. I really appreciate, we appreciate it. you. We'll see you guys there in just a few weeks.